Greetings from Utah. Today I'm at Sundance Mountain Resort near Provo, Utah. And you're probably familiar with the name because of the internationally famous Sundance Film Festival, which started here. But it's much, much more than that. It actually was carved out millions of years ago, this canyon was, by the Provo River. And we're here in the Wasatch Mountains, and right behind me is Mount Timpanogos, and it shoots 12,000 feet up into the sky. The Ute Indians lived here in this beautiful, bountiful canyon, and my goodness at the wildlife that they have here. But back in 1899, Scottish immigrants known as the Stewart family, they homesteaded and settled this area. Then fast forward to 1969. That's when movie star and heartthrob Robert Redford started acquiring land here. And eventually, well now it's 2,600 acres of resort and preserve. Well, there's so much to do here. He had such an amazing vision, and he's such a great conservationist. And I love the way he has united art and nature and recreation. You can do so many things here any time of the year. They have so much art activities and workshops. Um, you can go hiking, horseback riding, yoga on the mountaintops, fly fishing, even so many great spa services. And in the winter, well, you know, Utah has some of the best powdery snow in the whole world. It's epic. So they have great alpine skiing here, snowboarding, and also they have a Nordic center and they have nighttime skiing, which I love as the snow is just illuminated and sparkles at night as you get to ski underneath the moon and the stars. It's quite an experience, but it's just a treat walking around this property. It's so beautiful as you have just little pathways. It's all very natural and there's a gorgeous creek that runs through it, kind of babbling brook that you can hear. It looks like something off of a postcard and every building here is built with natural materials and nothing is taller than the treetops. So one of the other things I'd love to say is that the service here is extraordinary. We've been here several times and we are very impressed with the service. The food is also excellent. Their iconic restaurant was actually the first building here and that was in 1970 is when it opened. It's called the Treehouse Restaurant because it actually has a big live tree in the center. It has a world-class chef and world-class Indian, native Indian um, American art in it. And it's just beautiful. There's so much to see here. Well, as you can tell, this is a sensational place. And Robert Redford was very intentional in what he did. And he has certainly brought together art, nature, and recreation to create an amazing community for everyone. So when you come to visit, just know that you will get a true, unspooled, authentic experience. Just another travel tidbit from Travel with Terry.